Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a GraphQL application with Spring Boot. So for that first I'm going to go to start of Spring.io, select uh, language Java, project type, Gradle project, use the latest Spring Boot version and as a dependency I'm going to use JPA, H2 and Lombok. Generate the project and open it with your favorite ID. In this case I'm going to use IntelliJ IDEA but you can use any ID or editor. So initially you will get the build.gradle like this and the uh, application main. So here we first need to add two dependencies. Uh, this GraphQL Spring Boot Starter and uh, GraphQL uh, Java tools. Uh, so these will create the server for you automatically without you having to define the Tomcat and everything. So everything is included here. And uh, for saving some typing time, I have also created some data uh, entity classes, author and uh, uh, and it, uh, post so this author is simple with two field ID and name and post with three field ID name and author ID so this author ID defines the author ID over here and uh, these three things are from Lombok this creates the getters and services and uh, constructors for you without you having to write it and uh, in the uh, Repository, I have added to repository, author repository and post repository. These are standard JPA repository uh, stuff. So if you are not familiar with this, see my other video in my channel. So these are pretty straightforward. And in the application main, I have created a common line runner which will create some post and author so that I don't have to uh, work with an empty database. So these are pretty straightforward. Now to start working with the GraphQL application, first we have to create a file named uh, schema dot GraphQLs and here define our query that we are going to let user make. So let's type create a type query and define our query. So first query is posts. and it returns a list of posts and uh, another query is author which returns a list of author and finally uh, author by id so it's authors and uh, author by id so to take parameter you have to define the parameter like this and it returns single author First we have to define these uh, types in GraphQL. So these are going to be same as uh, the entity class. So it has two fields. So we have to define these two fields. One is ID of type ID and another one is name of type string. Similarly we have to create a type called post which is going to have this three field over there similar id of type id uh, text string and i believe the last one is author id which is also string uh, now to use this schema to get information from the database we have to create a query resolver class so let's create that which is going to implement GraphQL query resolver and it's let's mark it with schema sorry uh, component spring component and uh, add the required arc constructor which is going to inject our dependency automatically for us private final uh, post, repos post repository post repository and private final author repository author repository now we have to create three methods which uh, same name that is given here so let's create the first method public which returns a list of uh, a string it's not a string post 
doesn't take any input and simply returns uh, post repository dot find all similarly public list of author and uh, method name and it returns author repository dot find all finally public author author this takes an input string of type id and returns author repository dot find by id and this id and it returns an optional so if it doesn't find we will send a uh, simple null so if it doesn't find any uh, author by that id and we will simply return uh, null and here again this name is similar to this name over here post author and author okay now uh, that's it to make a basic queries so let's run the application so you can run the application from id or uh, run the command uh, using VLW boot run whichever is preferable to you okay so it ran the application it also created uh, a URL localhost 480 GraphQL without you having to create it so it automatically creates when you use uh, this starter dependency Spring Boot starter dependency so uh, you have to make query with post uh, go to the go to the body and select GraphQL here you define your queries so we have a query named uh, posts and uh, you define whatever the field you want so i want like for now all the fields id text and uh, author id let's run the query and here we have all our posts so you can do the similar thing with uh, another one here we will get all the authors author says id and name authors a a t h o r s authors okay probably when type of Okay, schema. Uh, okay, I made a mistake. Authors and let's fix it in the query as well. Okay, now let's run it, and sure enough, we get our author. But uh, notice here uh, in this query, we are getting uh, author ID. So let's say we want to get actual author like author uh, name and ID over here rather than getting author ID. So you can do that also. We can do this kind of complex query easily here using resolver. So let's see how we can do that. First define the schema. So in the schema rather than author ID we will put uh, author which is going to be a type author and uh, to get this author over here so you can do the same for uh, author let's say you want to get all the post by the author so you can do that over here like you can define uh, post like this so it will be similar to this uh, i'm going to show the simple one you can do the uh, this one as well uh, using the similar method anyway so let's get the resolver for this so for getting this resolved we have to create a resolver so the resolver will uh, let's create the resolver class its uh, name author resolver and it's going to implement the graphql resolver 
GraphQL Resolver. And okay. Okay, and we have to define the which from which uh, place it's coming from. So from post, I want to get the author. Uh, so we have to define that and import it. So it's our entity class. And here we uh, write a method with same field name, public. Uh, it returns an author as defined over here and the method name and it gets that author uh, sorry post over here return so let's first make it a component so that it can do dependent injection and inject the post author repository and return author repository dot find by id and get the id from the post and that's it and if it doesn't find again or else it's just gonna return null simple so let's read up the application so like this uh, now let's run the post but let's change it to author since the field name is now author and author has field id and name so before we used to get the author id now you get the author object so let's run this and sure enough with each post we are seeing the respective author as well so this is how we can uh, get complex query out and this is the basic of GraphQL query. Now the other part is uh, updating, creating or deleting operation. So for that we have to define a mutation. So in the schema we have to define mutation. Here let's create a method called add author and uh, define the author type but unfortunately we cannot use this author uh, so this is a uh, query type so we have to create a new type of uh, input and uh, it returns author So for that, let's create the author input. So it's going to be type input. And the uh, author has only uh, ID and name. So ID will be automatically generated. And we are going to only take input uh, name. So let's put that in here. And we are done. Now we have to, similar to the query resolver, we have to create mutation resolver. Let's create that. So it's gonna implement GraphQL mutation mutation resolver. Similar to the query resolver, we are gonna use the same method. So here uh, we have to have a DTO class for this as well. So let's first create that class, and uh, it has one field string name and put the getters and setters is in Lombok and uh, make it component and uh, our constructor we inject dependency add the inject the dependency And next, just create the method here, add author, public author, add author, see text, author input, 
like defined over here author input same as author input so it takes input like that so you can, as you can see you can use many other fields over here and resolve it like that so let's create the new author with author repository dot save new author and uh, id is going to be uh, uid dot random to string and name is going to be this uh, author input so author input author input dot name and that's it and just return it okay and let's run the application similarly we have all the things uh, like before and uh, if we see we have uh, this uh, post all the post and in the author we have this two author now let's create an another author using similar methods select the graphql and instead of query now we have to write mutation and in the mutation our mutation method name so our mutation method name is add author so it's schema add author so let's just get this whole thing and this author input is going to be a json so you have one field called name whatever name you want a three maybe and it returns uh, the author so we get author id and name so run this and sure enough we created a new author and if we go to this uh, authors query previously we had two now if i run this we will get the newly created third one so that's it uh, that's how you create a graphql application with a spring boot i hope you liked this video uh, if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment below i'm gonna upload this code into github and post the link in the video description so that's it thank you bye bye